so we're back here at Rabbit Ridge Farms. I'm gonna let these gentlemen introduce themselves. Hi, I'm JP Robert <laughs> from Rabbit Ridge Farms. <laughs> uh, Rudolf Roberts, yeah, Rabbit Ridge Farms, Fortis, Lampau Park. So why on earth did you want to do this? Well, initially it started basically a way to earn a decent income, making more money than what we would be able to make back home, giving our families a better future. That's, that's mine. Yeah, I agree with Rulof. Um, making a decent income um, is not so easy in South Africa, and I think that's why... It's not easy, yeah, either. <laughs> but, <laughs> working hard, but yeah. Working. Um, but I think that's why um, that's why we, we came here in the end and um, yes to grow ourselves and be financially independent and go back and be able to provide so when you first thought okay this is this is what I'm considering doing how did your family how did your friends react well it was a shock I can remember my wife was actually quite angry with me um, and it took her, took her a day or two to realize it is, in the long term, it is a better option than staying at home, suffering financially and not being able to give the kids what they, what they need in life. Yeah, um, so I didn't discuss it with anyone until I was sure about it. Uh, I didn't make a, a distinct decision to come here. Um, it was an open decision to make to first see if I can find a job here. And when I got the job, then I then I was um, then I was deciding to come. I still decided to come, and then I needed to to talk to any, everyone about it. Um, it. Wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for myself. It wasn't easy for my family. But everyone knows um, hard ways brings good ways. So, well put. Yeah. Well put. Okay, so now you've decided what were the steps, and y'all can work on this together because I'm sure they're similar, but what were the steps that it took on your part to make it happen? Well, initially, you start, the easiest thing is start with Facebook. There is hundreds of H2A uh, related Facebook pages. And most of them will have a pin post with agency contact details. So easiest way to start out is start looking for all the H2A pages you can find on Facebook and take it from there. Yeah, I joined um, a few Facebook pages, uh, but initially I spoke with my friends that was that was working here in um, USA. I spoke with Jock and I spoke with Luke, and both of them. Um, gave me different opinions, uh, different numbers from different um, people. And initially they gave me a website I can get a lot of um, agencies to work through. And um, working through them and just letting them help me and guide me to what to do next and what to do. And just to keep me on, on track. So they really have been a good help. So what was the process like with the paperwork, that sort of thing? Were you, um, did you do that on your own? Did you hire a recruiter? How did that work out for you? Well, initially I signed up with about six or seven recruiters. And yeah, you had to, to do an online application and they would go through it and send you emails to, to for follow-up information and but when it came to the last uh, visa application and stuff we did basically everything ourselves we were guided but we had to do it ourselves okay so um, I worked through a broad RSA I worked through them and I um, I filled out the the type of CV thing you need to fill out I filled that out and um, they told me they were going to send out my CVs to um, people that might be interested. I got um, two interviews before I got an interview with Rapid Ridge Farms. And, um, and that's when we decided that that's the right fit. And then from there on, 
will fill a few forms, they'll check it, they'll, you'll send it and they'll check it and they confirm it and yeah, from there on it's just go with everything they say and you'll have a long waiting time so be prepared to hurry up and wait. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of hurry up and wait. Yeah. Now would you recommend, and I'm not saying that particular, that specific recruiter, would you recommend um, those folks that are interested initially using a recruiter? And if so, what are the benefits challenges? And like I said, I'm not suggesting one specific recruiter, but just a recruiter in general. I think for, if you do it on, for your first time, I would really recommend work through, through recruit, recruiters. They already have a, a book with farmers and stuff, so you don't really have to do all the labor yourself. Yeah. But also, you need to be able to give them time and be patient. You are not the only guy on their books. So it's gonna take a long time. Um, yeah, some people get sorted within two, three days. Some people wait two, three years. So just be patient. Something will happen eventually. Yeah, um, definitely work for a recruit, recruiter. Um, you can work for a lot of recruiters at one time and uh, just Get your stuff out there it's difficult to get yourself out into a country you you're not familiar with so um, let them let them do the legwork and let them do the searching for yeah, you yeah don't get don't get stuck on one recruiter yeah. um, there, there is a lot of recruiters send your stuff to everyone that you can get hold of that's going to be the fastest easiest way to get put foot in the door and you never pay a recruiter the farmer yeah. pays a recruiter Never pay a to anyone that's a scam. Yep. Okay, so repeat that. Do not pay, do not pay a recruiter. Do not that is our responsibility yes. as the employer. Yes. Um, so what would you say some of the biggest challenges that you maybe anticipated and even surprised you with the process and even once you got over here? So um, a big challenge is just leaving everything behind can think it will be easy but once you step on that airport and you need to say goodbye it's not easy so um, be ready for that and be ready to come here and work that's what you're here for and um, leave all the expectations at home and just come do what you need to do yeah I can remember everyone told me or something enjoy don't be in too much of a rush, enjoy the time you have back home, um, enjoy the time with your family. But yeah, we're all excited, want to come over, want to earn some money. And once you get on that plane, once you get in that airport behind that glass door, you realize you missed a lot of time. So take time, spend with family, um, and yeah, everything is completely different. Plumbing is different, <laughs> electrical is different. So what do you know back home? doesn't necessarily gonna help you a lot up here but as long as you do your best as long as you're willing to learn you'll get somewhere so what would you say some benefits in general of the h2a work visa program are that you would want to share well it's a, it's a good way to to broaden your eyes it's a good way to learn new things good way to learn get to know new people new places it's it's a big learning experience. Um, if you don't do this, you're gonna miss out on so much things in life. Yeah. You're, you're opening yourself up to so many possibilities. So it's, it's fun, it's good, it's hard work, but it's still, we enjoy it. Yes, so um, everything Rulof said, and um, you'll definitely grow physically, emotionally, and financially. So, and that's all you want to well that's what I determined to be successful so that's all I want. so to all of your uh, fellow interested folks that want all these hundreds of people that reached out to us what is your last parting word would you say keep up um, no, as long as you keep on submitting applications and do not lie keep be honest on your resume. Do not point out things that you can do that you cannot do. It is gonna buy you in the end. Um, we all want this OCA program to continue for years to come. So if 
if the guys are messing up too bad, it's gonna come to an end. So please guys, don't lie. When you get the job, do the job. Don't get into the accidents. Don't destroy the vehicles and whatever. Just uphold our good night. Um, don't give up, push through, and use the right channels. Otherwise, you won't get anywhere. I like all that advice. All right, so for more information, follow us on our social media, Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining.